Hello everyone, you are welcome to Math Explorer. In this video, I am going to solve this nice algebra math problem. That is, a plus b is equal to 20 and a times b is equal to 44. So here we will try to find the values of a and b. So here in this problem, let us suppose this is equation number first and this is equation number second. Now here from equation number first, that is a plus b is equal to 20. So here we will move this a to the right hand side and we will make b as the subject of this equation. So this will become b is equal to 20 minus a. So let us suppose this is equation number star. Now here we will take equation number second. So equation number second implies Equation number second is a times b is equal to 44. Now here we will replace this b with its value that is 20 minus a. So this equation will become a times the value of b is 20 minus a is equal to 44. Now we will solve this equation. So here we are going to apply a inside the parenthesis. So this will become 20a minus a times a is a square and we will move this to the left hand side. So it will become minus 44 is equal to 0. Now here we will rearrange these terms according to the degree of a. So this will become minus a square plus 20a minus 44 is equal to 0. Now here we need to make the coefficient of a square positive. So for that we will multiply negative 1 both sides of this equation. So by multiplying negative 1 inside the parenthesis the sign of each term will be changed. So the negative terms will become positive and the positive will become negative. So this will become a square minus 20a plus 44 is equal to n0 time any number is 0. Now here this is a quadratic equation. Now here we cannot solve this quadratic equation by factorization method. So we will try to solve it using the quadratic formula. Now to use the quadratic formula here first we will compare this equation with the general form of quadratic equation. And for that we will find the values of a, b and c. Now the general form of quadratic equation is ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0. Now by comparing these two equations we will get the values of a, b and c. So the value of a is 1, the value of b is minus 20 and the value of c is 44. Now to find the values of a the quadratic formula is minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4 ac divided by 2a. Now here we will substitute the values of a, b and c. So this will become minus b the value of b is minus 20 plus minus square root of b square the value of b is minus 20 square minus 4 a is 1 and c is 44 divided by 2 times a we will simplify the right hand side of this equation so this will become a is equal to negative time negative is positive so it is plus 20 plus minus square root of minus 20 square is about 400 minus and here 4 times 4 is 16 6 1 will be carried 4 times 4 is 16 16 plus 1 is 17 so it is 176 and 2 times 1 is 2 now next this will become a is equal to 20 plus minus this will become square root of 400 minus 176 gives him 220
4 divided by 2. And next we can write this number as we will factorize this number to the product of 16 times 14. So this will become 20 plus minus. We can write 224 as 16 times 14 divided by 2. So next we will split this curve over 16 and 14. So this will become a is equal to 20 plus minus it will become square root of 16 no square root of 16 is equal to 4 and it will become times the root of 14 divided by 2. Now next we can write this equation as 20 divided by 2 plus minus 4 times square root of 14 divided by 2. 2 times 1 is 2, 2 times 10 is 20, 2 times 1 is 2, 2 times 2 is 4. So here the value of a will become a is equal to 10 plus minus 2 times square root of 14. So here we have two possible values of a. One is positive and one is negative. Now the first value is a1 is equal to 10 plus 2 times square root of 14 and the second value of a is 10 minus 2 times square root of 14 and here we will try to find the corresponding values of b so for that we will use equation number star that is this one equation so we will do these steps here now equation number star is Equation number star implies that is b is equal to 20 minus a. So for the value of b1, this equation will become 20 minus a1. And for the value of b2, this equation will become 20 minus a2. So here we will replace a, a1 with its value to find the value of b1. And this will become 20 minus the will of a1 is 10 plus 2 times square root of 14. So this will become 20. We will multiply a negative sign inside the parenthesis. So this will become minus 10 minus 2 times square root of 14. So the will of b1 will become 20 minus 10 is 10 minus 2 times square root of 14. So this is the value of B, B1. Now here we will try to find the value of A2. So for that, here we will substitute the value of A2. Now the value of B2 will become B2 is 20 minus A2. Now the value of A2 is 10 minus 2 times square root of 14 so again we will multiply negative sign inside the parenthesis this will become 20 minus 10 negative time negative is positive 2 times square root of 14 so the value of b2 will become 20 minus 10 is 10 plus 2 times square root of 14 so here we get the value of b2 so here we have two possible solutions in this problem. The first solution is a1, b1 is, now the value of a1 is 10 plus 2 times square root of 14, comma, the value of b1 is 10 minus 2 times square root of 14. So this is our first solution. And the second solution is a2 comma b2 is equal to the value of a2 is 10 minus 2 times square root of 14 comma the value of b2 is 10 plus 2 times square root of 14 so this is our second solution 
now and last if you like this problem so don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel thanks for watching